everyone, it's Scott again, back with another episode of Android iPad TV. Uh, it's been a while uh, due to the crazy holidays and everything that was going on in my life. It's been about a month since the last time I filmed, and I've been trying to do this weekly, but um, unfortunately I just didn't get around to it. Uh, but I'm now back and hopefully going to be more consistent now and uh, putting out about two videos a week um, in which I'll be featuring an app feature for either Android or iOS um, uh, twice a week now. So uh, a lot has changed since the last time I filmed. Um, when I started out I was actually starting out filming in my garage uh, but I've now moved into my little own office space uh, except for the fact that this office space is in my home and uh, it is also uh, doubling as a kids playroom <laughs> I'll show you really quick what I mean so here's my office um, behind me got the kids play area <laughs> and swing over here got a TV got my monitor and stuff in my office space yay a lot better than a garage you know um, Obviously, I would love to have my own office space that I don't have to share with my kids, but it gives me something to do when I'm at home and I'm watching the kids and they can be playing around and I can be getting some work done. And so, you know, it's nice. I'm glad to have my own office now. So hopefully that'll work out. And just for you subscribers to note, uh, every Wednesday I'll be featuring my Android apps feature. And then on Fridays, uh, I'll be featuring my iPad apps features. And so uh, look forward to that every week. Um, you know, I may miss a week here and there just by crazy schedules and stuff like that. But uh, hopefully, you know, about every week I, I hit my mark. And so Wednesdays and Fridays, look forward to that. Welcome to this week's App of the Week for Android. This App of the Week feature will feature actually two apps this week. Um, I'm going to be featuring an application called Multi-Picture Live Wallpaper and Easy Money. Uh, these are both found in the Android market and uh, I will provide links at the bottom of uh, the description if you, if you want to click on those. So I got this shiny new case for my Android phone now. I actually really like it. The black on white, I think it kind of makes it look like a sort of like a Star Wars Stormtrooper or something like that with a nice shiny white body armor or something. But um, So I really enjoy it. I think it's fun and unique. Uh, so this is the first application I'm going to be featuring, Multi-Picture Live Wallpaper. And if I click on Open here, it'll give me all these settings here. And if I click on Common Settings, I can now, picture, I can now select my picture sources. So I can select uh, albums that I have in its directory. And so this is going to be basically where it's uh, pulling the live wallpaper from. Uh, and in a minute I'll show you exactly what I mean, what that, what that does. Uh, so, alright, so I can do all those things. I can choose a background color. That's if the picture, the wallpaper, you're not setting it to stretch across the entire screen, which I make it stretch, so I don't really need that. Um, so I can crop and resize. I can decrease saturation, decrease opacity, so I can make it, you know, more transparent so that my icons pop a little bit better that sort of thing and then so once I have my customization already uh, let's see what else we've got here we can do a transition type so every time I'm swiping across my screen it'll it'll do a, a different type of transition which are pretty interesting transitions here my personal favorite here is just the fade in fade out I guess I'm kind of boring that way but you can do a cross fade and zoom in and out zoom and slide wipe all these things do these really awesome features, and maybe I'll f feature one or two for you so you can see what I mean. Show reflection, picture change interval. That's you know this will this will make it so it changes every four hours, six hours. I can pick the interval that I want the wallpapers to change. Obviously, the the longer the interval, the less battery power it's going to use up. But it really doesn't deplete much battery at all. That's not even really an issue with me. I choose four hours just because I kind of like having my wallpapers around for a while. So here's my home screen, here's my wallpaper. And what's unique about it, you know, this is a static wallpaper in appearance, but actually it's a live wallpaper because when I s swipe across, I've got an entirely new wallpaper here on this screen. Entirely new wallpaper. Sorry, I have like widgets and stuff that cover my wallpaper, so you can't really get the full enjoyment out of it. But 
as you can see, you know, I've got these interesting wallpapers that I use. Um, so, now this is where it gets really fun and exciting. So let's say I didn't want this to be my home screen wallpaper. Well, now I can just double tap and it changes it to another wallpaper. So if I'm bored with this one, and if you notice it here, it spread different wallpapers across all the screens randomly, selecting from the directories that I chose. But double tap again, there we go, got another one. And so, you know, I just sometimes I just double tap until I find one that's really appealing to me and then I'll stick around for four hours and that'll be nice. All right, now I wanna show you some of these transitions. Let's just go ahead and put it on random so that you can kind of see like as many transitions as possible here. And, you know, I'm not going to be able to recognize all of them, but as I'm swiping across now, see now it's doing different things behind it. And that's just kind of fun. It adds, you know, little swiping features and, you know, it does different things. I already have animations whenever I swipe across my screen, so, you know, you probably don't want to have too many animations that get, you know, it's too much eye candy. Um, but you know, it's kind of fun. But that's why I choose a crossfade because I, I ju it just gets kind of messy, I think, when you do too many transitions. So, but hopefully that's a good app and you guys will enjoy it as much as I do. All right, this next application I got free this week in the Amazon App Store. Unfortunately, it's not free anymore and you can find it in the Android app market as well. But uh, since I got it from the App Store, I'm gonna go ahead and launch it from here. I'm not gonna turn the camera away for a second while I enter in my password. Okay, there we go. And uh, so this gives you an accounts overview. And so it's great for like checking and doing that sort of stuff. And you can flip through and see your various accounts. And let's say I make a transaction, okay? So I'm gonna click on my American Express card. And you can see I just barely kind of started using this. So um, I have very few transactions there. A couple, you know, one from Fred Meyer, a couple from Costco. But the coolest thing I think is see this where it says underneath Costco split category. So I can now uh, make budgets and categories and and do splits. So, you know, this one was just household only. But this one, now if I click on it, it'll show me the categories that I use. So $81 was used in groceries and household $44. And so that's great for accounting purposes and budgeting. Uh, let's see here. Groceries, 36. Household, 6. And then hygiene, 4. And you, you basically you can do an unlimited amount of splits. It's really great. Uh, I was looking all over for a, uh, an application that would do something like this. Now, if I want to sort it, I can change the period and I can look according to just this month or last month through December, the last seven days, and it'll uh, rearrange my transactions accordingly. So it really helps you in looking up things. And you can also um, import and export as CSV files as well as QIF files for those who use Quicken. When I, I actually do use Quicken. I haven't tried it yet to see how well it uh, translates, but it is a good alternative. You know, if you want to do your accounting this way and then, you know, import it into Quicken, uh, then that's a possibility right there. Here you can create your budgets uh, for the year and flip through and you can see, oh no, I've already overspent my budget and household. Great. Uh, so, you know, it's a really, really helpful thing. Let's see what, I know that there's some view reports. There we go. So monthly expense report. Let's look at that. So it gives you these nice helpful charts and all sorts of things. And just to show you how easy it is to enter something in, let's do another fictitious transaction here. Okay, there we go. Add a transaction. And we are going to, just cause it's already in here, let's do another one for Fred Meyer an amount of $15 split category by default sure we'll, we'll save it and split it and it's selected to withdraw but uh, you know I could change that to a deposit if I wanted to save and split okay let's say five dollars of that will be towards a work expense Okay, save a new split and it automatically assumes that the next ten dollars which is the remaining difference in the transaction will be put to the next category uh, and let's just say that is miscellaneous other 
but actually I want to make it just four dollars so I can actually save it and do a new split which in this one will be six dollars and other sure save and done and so now there we have our new transaction right there and if I click on it we can see the three categories that we've made so really excellent uh, application I highly encourage that you pick it up it is worth the ten dollars that it does cost uh, you know, I wish everybody could could download it during the free Amazon period, but unfortunately that's over. And uh, But hopefully you'll find this application useful. It's something I've been looking for for a long time. So big thumbs up for, for me here at Android iPad. And be sure to tune in next week. I'll be featuring my app of the week for Android next week. I, I don't know what it is just yet, but uh, but tune in next week and you will find out. Thank you very much for watching.